I'm using EndNote to manage my literature review data. It helps me to do literature review effectively and efficiently for my research. So I want to share my experience with you and hope you can benefit it from this video. The first thing I would like to do is creating my own EndNote style. The style can be easily previewed in the right button of the interface. Why my own style is needed? One reason is that I can edit my style and then preview anything I prefer, like authors, title, journal, and year. Second, this style can be used directly when I insert references into a document for my documentation. Although different journals ask different output reference styles, it's only for my own writing. It provides an obviously organized view for my own documentation. Select Edit, Output Styles, New Style to create own output style. Go back to the EndNote interface. Changing display fields is the second thing I would like to do. There are eight columns can be displayed based on my needs. Usually, I choose keywords to be displayed because I think keywords is a critical column during sorting papers. I create my own category for keywords. The benefit of that is paper can be classified according to my needs. For example, the keywords I have are tocopherol, controlled release, concentration, and so on. I will edit keywords for each paper by myself after importing papers. Usually, Anno imports keywords automatically according to what's in the paper. However, changing them into my own category is more convenient for my own classification. Select Edit, Preferences, Display Fields, choose any column you prefer, and select Keywords in drop-down list. One more thing to pay attention to is correcting errors immediately after importing papers online. Some letters, like Greek letters, won't be displayed correctly, and some papers may be lack of volume or page due to automatically importing. Instead of finding something incorrect in the paper after inserting every reference, changing errors immediately can decrease workload and make life easy in future. Double-click the reference I select, go to the reference editing interface, and edit anything in this interface, including keywords as I mentioned above. I can even write down my notes about this paper in note box. In case I don't have access to read the whole paper at home, I like to download the PDF document after I import papers online and attach it into the paper. I can also attach figures like molecular structure into the paper. It saves a lot of time to search related documents in a bunch of folders. Still double click the reference I select, go to the reference editing interface, drag the PDF document into file attachments box, and also drag related pictures into figure box if needed. Save the reference and close the window. Since I have prioritized my display columns, I can see the order easily by author, year, journal, or keywords. The advantage is that I can find key researchers and critical journals in a specific area, or find whether the year distribution is reasonable or not. As to the year distribution, not the more current paper, the better they are. 
Some classical papers will always stick in my key papers. So the distribution should be from classical to current, and it distributes equally. Click any column title, and the references will be displayed by the order of the column title. From here. You can also see the importance of editing each single reference immediately after importing papers online. Some papers don't have the function of importing by EndNote, so I have to do it manually. I prefer importing reference online because this icon, which is open link, can lead me to the website of the paper directly. Where I may find more needed information. Also, clicking the next icon, which is Open File, can open the PDF document directly if you attach it into the paper. I also like to use Group to organize my library. In the left of the interface, there is a Custom Groups menu. Right-click on it, and then I can create my own groups. For example, I would like to create a group named Key Papers. Select the paper I think which is critical. Right-click on it. Choose Add References to. Then Key Papers group will be showed in the list. Click Key Papers, and the reference is now under this group. You can also simply drag the paper to Key Papers group. Like this. This function is similar as a playlist for my music, and I can easily manage my library. This is my experience of using EndNote till now, and I will update it continuously. I hope EndNote is not only software to manage literature review data, but also a good media to make literature review effective and efficient. You can also watch training video for operating EndNote from its official website. Thank you.